Welcome guys to Idle Games TV and we're gonna check out Tiny Rails. Now most probably it's not an idle game and definitely it's not definitely full idle. You're going to get some offline income but you do want to stay in the game in order for you to reach different kinds of stations, in order for you to buy things, sell things and so on. So the idea is that you're going to have a train, you're going to be able to put different kinds of cars over there on the specific train you're going to have a big engine you're going to be able to upgrade it you're going to be able to increase the cargo that you're going to be able to uh, basically carry and also you're going to be able to increase the capacity of the uh, customers that are going to come to your train and most probably you're going to move them in different kind of cities they're going to pay for the ticket and so on now the game is interesting if you're into the retro pixel games and if you're a fan of the trains definitely you need to try this game so let's go in the marketplace this is how the game goes depending on which station did you arrive you're going to be able to buy different kind of things now you do want to buy the things that are at the best price and you do want to sell the things that offer you a high high profit like for example over here if i'm going to sell the chicken plus four for every corn i'm going to get three um, over there three gold coins for the steel as well so you do want to watch out for this every time you're going to have that high amount of profit you're going to sell it now i know that at the beginning it's not going to be that much and obviously you're not going to be able to get the let's say your earnings out of that but you're going to get a lot of coins if you're going to watch some ads now every time you're going to see that box you're going to be able to spend some gemstones or watch some ads don't spend the gemstones try to watch the ads as much as you can because definitely those are going to be quite useful and obviously you're going to be able to do some upgrades over here now as you can see you're going to be able to increase the speed the cargo the weight the vault the cars and the passengers now right now i am carrying up to 17 passengers and my maximum capacity for the passengers right now is 50. you're going to be able to increase how many cars are you going to be able to pull uh, with your uh, engine and obviously if they're going to be really, really heavy you're going to see that your maximum speed is going to get decreased so you need to watch out for that now if you're going to get the same car from here after you're going to be able to unlock different kind of things you're going to see that basically you're going to start it up now keep in mind the fact that you're going to be able to do some pictures over here so capture the moment as you probably saw over there here it is every time you're going to catch this it's going to be really nice so if you're a fan of uh, games with uh, trains as i mentioned definitely give this game a try now let's go back over here you're going to have different kind of quest logs you're going to need to fulfill different kind of missions over here quite 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 a lot of things that you do want to check out uh, definitely if you're a fan of this game let me know in the comments below if you have played it and reached further let us know also didn't play it that much due to the fact that i'm not into the the train games but uh, definitely it's an interesting retro idle rpg rpg i was going to say my bad too many rpg games a uh, retro pixel game uh, sorry for that so over here in the basket you're going to be able to put uh, let's say real cash if you do want that but also you're going to be able to change colors for your trains if you're going to have high high amount of uh, gold coins now please don't spend your cash over here okay don't spend your gems my bad over here you do not want to do that and over here the class basically it's uh really really low so for example the c1 uh only only over there three storage boxes it weighs two so that's okay but only two passenger seats so definitely that's quite low now every time you're going to have the possibilities to watch those ads as i mentioned please do so uh, don't forget that you can put real money in the game but also you're going to have over here the basically a roulette let's say and every time you're going to spin over here you're going to be able to have a chance of getting a rarer train every time you're going to get the same train as i mentioned you're going to be able to merge those trains and obviously get a rarer one a better one but that same train now afterwards the cool cool thing is that you're going to have different kind of people that will be able to help you now over here you do want to consume the gemstones in order for you to obviously increase the services from your employees so you're going to have up to three employees at least the ones that i have up now until now you do want to increase the gold earnings that you're going to have so please increase those 
those are the most important ones after you're going to be able to put your hands on the gemstones i tried to buy different kind of things with gemstones and honestly it didn't went so well so please upgrade your employees okay now after you're going to be able to watch this map every time you're going to complete different kind of quests you're going to be able to unlock new and new sections of the map over here and you do want to do what you do want to buy different kind of stations because if you're going to buy them you're going to be able to have more passengers on your trains that are going to pay you even more and you're going to get even more gold coins out of it and so on and so on now you can upgrade over here up to four levels uh, definitely if you're going to upgrade the four levels over here as you can see so the first one offers you passengers the second one gold the third one offers you a bonus percentage and the fourth one offers you a higher speed from l4 uh, basically the the lines between the city so the left and fourth because as you can see every city has a way in or a way out at least two uh, of of those options now buy the stations that are cheaper at least at the beginning try to find the stations that are only 1k like for example this one over here if i'm going to upgrade it it costs me 1k but i most probably bought it with 500 gold coins so watch out for those at first buy them because those are the ones that are going to offer you a high high amount of income at first when you're going to start playing it now don't forget that over here in the map you're going to be able to fulfill different kind of quests so you're going to be able to uh, not over here so over here this is a factory so most probably if you're going to take these things over here you're going to be able to build that specific car so definitely that's going to be quite quite cool if you have played it and reached further than me please drop a comment and let us know as you can see quite quite a lot of cars found uh, a lot of cars to be found my bad i found only 15 so out of almost 200 so quite quite a lot if you're a fan of these games please try this game also but if you have already played it drop a comment let us know uh, your thoughts regarding this game definitely an interesting game but as i said didn't play it that much uh, let's hope that you will start playing it after you're going to watch this video now guys please watch the ads at first when you're going to come uh, after a while if you went offline and when you're going to come you're going to have possibility up to five times if i'm not mistaken every day in order for you to actually uh, double up your income so every time watch those ads because definitely as long as you're going to get the high high amounts of cash you're going to be able to buy more and more and more train stations and from those train stations you're going to be able to have high high amount of gold coins that with that gold coins obviously you're going to do a lot of upgrades now keep in mind that you're going to upgrade the weight the cargo speed and so on the speed does matter quite a lot because you're going to have quite quite huge huge distances that you're going to need to cover if you're not going to touch the screen as you can see it's going to go on this mode right now so you're going to see only your uh, let's say train stations different kind of passengers are going to talk uh, with the uh, different kind of speeches you're going to see a guy that is making jokes to a girl and so on uh, as you can see right now i don't have any uh, lights but let's hope that my uh, driver over there knows the road okay now over here i have just landed to my next station and you're going to go to the market every time you're going to reach a station you're going to see that you're going to get a, a big big gift from here and as i mentioned you're going to be able to spend some gemstones or watch an ad for a high high amount of cash of gold coins watch the ad for the gold coins because that's going to be really helpful now over here as you can see the ribs are quite quite at a good price so every time you're going to see the the sale uh, ticket over there definitely buy all that you can you can also buy all of them due to the fact that they are quite 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 cheap over here so the corn is quite cheap as well the lemon as well the oil as well and the orange as well the bricks not that much so everything that is under 10 it's good i'm going to buy all of them just uh, i don't have any more so the cargo limit okay okay the cargo is full got it got it okay so you're going to have a lot a lot of uh, let's say boost for the speed if you're going to watch the ads as well so you do want to consume them uh, every time you're going to be online uh, that's the idea uh, right now as you can see i am going with 291 kilometers per hour so definitely quite quite fast for this old old engine over here but 
here it is you're going to encounter in your path different kind of uh, let's say object uh, objects that you're going to need to click in order for you to destroy them now you're going to see that uh, from time to time if you're going to be offline you're not going to be uh, able to earn that high amount of cash and that's due to the fact that your train most probably encountered an object on the rail station really, really fast during his start after his start my bad and that's definitely a quite quite big big problem so you do need to enter quite a lot in the game uh, quite often sorry my bad in order for you to collect your offline incomes because if you're going to enter quite often you're going to see if your train encountered an object on the rail station or not now please keep in mind the fact that this is a retro pixel game so please give this game a try if you're a fan of these types of games and if you're a fan of the rail games uh, definitely give this game a try also now keep in mind that you're going to be able to do a lot of pictures as you can see over here keep in mind that you do want to buy the rail stations okay those are definitely quite quite important and go to the market every time in order for you to buy everything that you, oh the cargo is full okay so i need to sell something so here it is i'm going to sell the corn the lemon so every time you're going to see the profit close to the name sell them if you're not going to see profit don't sell them okay it's not profitable so don't sell them you're going to be able to sell that specific thing on a different uh, in a different uh, let's say uh, a rail station so i'm going to go to a different one over here now keep in mind that every time you're going to complete the quest you're going to be able to unlock uh, a bigger and a bigger territory and you're going to be able to move from a different kind of uh, rail stations uh, through to one to another in order for you to watch out for the market and you do need to fulfill different kind of tasks in order for you to take pizza from this part and move it to the other side and so on so if you're a fan of this game give this game a try now guys until next time be safe out there don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and please take care bye